Good morning, good morning, everyone. The day is here. Who knows what today is? Ash Wednesday, that's right. The first day of what is really the most important season on the Christian calendar. It's the season of Lent, a time of reflection and a time of repentance. This is a season of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And in just a couple of hours, you will have the symbol of ashes placed on your forehead. You will be joined by many people across the world in this gesture that acknowledges our origin and our faults. As Christians, we hold fast to the belief that the Creator has formed us in His image from the simple clay of the earth. And in the book of Genesis, we also see that He reminds mankind that we will return to the earth. We are dust, and to dust we shall return. The simple image of dust is a powerful reminder of the fate that every person will face. Look around you. No one inside the classroom or room that you're in will live forever on this earth. You will die. Well, your body will definitely die. There's a set number of days for us all, and there's no escape in death. The original faults, the original sin, has a natural punishment, which is death. But it was canceled by the sacrifice of God's son with his death on the cross. Faith in that sacrifice is what will save us. And we have been promised to live forever in his kingdom once this life passes. But it's almost impossible to have faith in that sacrifice if we don't faithfully trust that we can return to him with our everyday burdens and faults. We must live as if we were in the presence of God and obey his commandments if we are truly his people. We must humble ourselves at every moment if we are truly his people, because we will be humbled before God on our last day, whether we like it or not. Fight the good fight. It's a tough fight, especially during your high school years, but it will be worth it. Do what is right, even when the world says it's wrong. St. Augustine of Hippo once said that right is right, even if no one is doing it, and wrong is wrong, even if everyone is doing it. You will be persecuted and people will talk about you behind your back. They will twist your words and it will hurt. Just know that this is a cross you should embrace gladly. Pick it up and walk with it, knowing that our Lord is very close to you. And when it's all said and done, he will raise you up. As I mentioned, the dust that looks like dirt should also remind us of our own faults, our own dirt. Own up to your mistakes and understand that there are consequences that will be non-negotiable in this life and in the next. Good and bad choices will alter the course of your lives, so it's imperative that we accept good advice, learn from mistakes, and ask for God's help to keep us on the right path. And just remember that until you've asked God for his help to do better, you haven't even tried hard enough. At some point today, when you look at yourself in the mirror, With that smear of ashes on your forehead, I challenge you to challenge yourself to give more, to pray more, and fast or offer up something for Lent. It can be something as simple as sweets or television, television show or or social media, but make it meaningful. Don't give up broccoli or Brussels sprouts, you know, make it tough but manageable and avoid bragging or boasting about what you're giving up because this is penance. And it's our sign to God and ourselves that we are more than the everyday pleasures that we are blessed to enjoy. Can you do it? Can you make it till Easter? You know, with his help, the answer is yes. Try it on your own and you'll most likely fail. These are temporary things that bring us joy. But our ultimate joy will only be found in our relationship with Christ, the King. Viva Cristo Rey.